Good morning, everyone. It's lovely to be with you this fine morning, Monday the 15th of June. Uh, I'm joined by Francis. Hello, Francis. Good morning. Had a weekend of um, streaming services and sitting alongside them as people have engaged with them, which was uh, interesting. And uh, we'll see if more comes of that as the week unfolds. Mm. Today, um, in the church's cycle, uh, we commemorate a spiritual writer, Evelyn Underhill, um, writing in the uh, 1930s and so on. Uh, not somebody I'm massively uh, uh, familiar with, so something for us to research during the day, if we've got a bit of time on our hands. Uh, psalm today is Psalm 30, and we'll be continuing in our readings from Luke's Gospel. So let us pray. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor awarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass. We flourish as a flower of the field. For as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old, and endures for ever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children. On those who keep his covenants, and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Turn to our psalm this morning. Psalm 30. I will, ex I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have raised me up and have not let my foes triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you have healed me. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, ye servants of his, give thanks to his holy name. For his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye, his favour for a lifetime. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. You, Lord of your goodness, you made my hill so strong. Then you hid your face from me and I was utterly dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried. To the Lord, I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Therefore, my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. The reading is taken from Luke chapter 12, beginning at the first verse. Meanwhile, when the crowds gathered in thousands so that they trampled on one another, he began to speak first to his disciples. 
Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees, that is, their hypocrisy. Nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. Therefore, whatever you, whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed from the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body, and after that can do nothing more. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten in God's sight, but even the hairs of your head are all counted. Do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. And I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man also will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they bring you before the synagogues, the rulers and the authorities, do not worry about how you are to defend yourselves or what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that very hour what you ought to say. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We reflect on that psalm that speaks of God with us in good times and how we respond to him. God with us in the challenging times and how we so often cry out to him. The gospel reading of challenge again. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. You have set us free to worship you without fear. Holy and righteous in your sight. And let us open our hearts and minds to what God has for us today. Let us not just pray to God, but pray with God. Come, Holy Spirit, guide our thoughts and prayers now and in this day. O Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, today feels like a day of, of transition as we um, 
seek to open more businesses to, to customers today. Lord, I'm mindful of those that I work amongst in parts of my work in the retail sector. Pray for those who will be going back to work after quite a long break. That said, having been probably in work over the previous day, setting things up, getting things ready. But today, opening the doors to, to customers. Lord, I pray that any fears they may have, you may be with them, alongside them, and hold them in that. Pray for, for all of those that will engage in our commercial spaces today, that they will be thoughtful of others. And Lord, I pray for all of those who support our activity in our town centres, in, in shopping centres. Lord, we pray for all that are involved in the background of trying to make sure that we can start to interact with each other in the ways that we're used to but doing that safely and responsibly. And Lord, you promise to be with us. Be with us in this as we seek to move to opening up our shared activity. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Good Father, we thank you for everyone who engaged with our services at the weekend. We thank you for everyone uh, across um, across this country, across this world, who might have tried church for the first time uh, through an online stream service. And we pray that uh, they took something away from it, something, a glimpse of you. Uh, and we pray that now that um, your people would be mobilised to fan, to fan that into flame, uh, to bring them uh, to an... A, a greater knowledge of you to, to help them along on their journey lord in your mercy hear our prayer lord in that we pray for all of those who are engaged in online courses not just here in redditch in our uh, holy trinity team and in uh, the other parishes that surround us but across this nation people engaging with you in different ways with different groups of people Lord, I pray that you will open our hearts and minds to who you are. Lord, that you will draw us on in our journey with you. Lord, may we come through this time not the same as we were or, <laughs> or worse, but may we come through it changed, drawn closer to you, and be a people who uh, are more aware of our need for you and you walking with us in the joys and the sorrows of life. Lord, pour out your spirit upon this land across the nations of this planet. Lord, may we come to know you more fully, more deeply. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, we pray too for your church in today is this first day when we can again officially open our doors to people for private prayer, but we pray for all of those who are seeking to allow us to do that safely and responsibly and for all the activity that will go into doing that so lord help us to be wise in what we do help us to to remember what we're seeking to do uh, in terms of yes allowing people to worship in church to to pray in church but to do that uh, without endangering volunteers or the public. So, Lord, help us to balance our, des uh, our desires. 
and Lord, we do pray for an orderly return to everyday life in all sorts of aspects of our shared life. Pray for our schools, continue to pray for them as they work with the children that are returning. We pray for those children that are fearing to return. We pray for all of the impact that that's having upon uh, a, a cohort of young people. Lord, may we seek to be creative in how we serve them. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And Lord, I pray for the family of Peter today as we take, uh, as I take his funeral service. Lord, I pray for all who mourn this day, for all that are having to do so in, in restricted circumstances and are not able to grieve in the way that they would desire to. And Lord, be with all those who grieve this day. Lord, may you be by. But by your spirit, may you be really close to all those who grieve this day. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. With our diocese today, we pray for the East Vale and Avon villages. Again, around the Evesham area, we pray today for Cleve Pryor and the Littletons. We pray for their Open the Book team. Think about them not able to go into schools at the moment when we pray for Open the Book teams across uh, this uh, diocese and nation who will be unable to go into schools to uh, open up uh, the stories of the Bible to the young children there. And we do pray that that piece of work, when it restarts, will be a joy. We pray for Philip Morton, Timothy Hupfield, um, the clergy in that group of churches, and for their readers, Alan Batch, Joy Batch, Sue Cole and Margaret Pye. And further afield, in, in, in a joy of unpronounceable diocesan names, um, we pray for the Diocese of Nugbo in Nigeria, Bishop Godwin, uh, for the Diocese of Antana Arivio in the Indian Ocean, uh, Bishop Samoila, and for Jalingo in Nigeria, uh, Bishop Foreman. Uh, Lord, as I struggle to even say those places, Lord, you know them intimately. You know those places as a as as physical geography, but also you know them as groups of people. Each person known, the number of hairs upon their head counted and known. Lord, help us to imagine the the breadth and depth of your knowledge. So much greater than ours. So Lord, be with those dioceses as you are with us this day. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. So Lord, be with us this day in all that it brings. Lord, in our nation and in the nations of the world, as we struggle with how we view each other, Lord, may you help us to do that with your eyes. Lord, help us to not simply be um, glib or to simply hide from the problems that we face, but help us to, to take seriously our place and our part in making this world one that you desire it to be. O oh God, the strength of all those who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers. And because through the weakness of our mortal nature, we can do no good thing without you, grant us the help of your grace 
that in the keeping of your commandments, we may please you both in will and deed. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thank you for being with us this morning. Um, if you would like to do a bit more thinking about perhaps the words of our psalm this morning, um, back in um, May, I wrote a, a short reflection on... Um, some of the words from that um, from Psalm 30. Uh, if you head over to faithatwork.org.uk, faithatwork.org.uk, look in the news section there, you'll find the the, uh, the short reflection that I did, looking at how we respond to God in good times and in bad. And so you might like to to do that. Please do join us uh, through the remainder of this week as we pray um, morning and evening. Um, various of us in the morning and Richard mainly in the evening. So do come and join us uh, in our journey of discipleship. See you soon. See you.